friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Sheila and I am an archivist in Pennsylvania and I am filming a highly requested work days in my life as an archivist video. For anyone that's been waiting for more of these videos, thank you and I appreciate your patience with me. In all honesty, like vlogging at work and doing these work videos have not been on my high priority list. I just haven't felt inspired. And when I'm at work all day, all week, I come home and the other videos I I film here on YouTube help me escape work. So that is why I don't crank these videos out at a fast pace, just because when I'm at work, I wanna focus and do stuff. And when I come home from work, I don't wanna think about work. But I'm feeling very inspired and motivated to document my work days. And this week, I'm actually the only one in the archives. Our project archivist is working from home this whole week. And it's just easier for me to kind of vlog when I'm the only one in here. I don't have to worry about people looking over my shoulder or popping in the door. And I actually did just shut the door because there's some maintenance people working out in the hallway and I don't want them to just pop in. So anxiety levels are definitely high with vlogging at work to BTW. But hello, welcome. I'm so excited to take you through a few days of working as an archivist. I have a few videos up and I'll link them down below if you want to see other videos. I'm not going to really explain what I do in this video, I'm just going to show you what I do, I guess. Um, we have a big project also underway that I am working on and thought it would be cool to document and show you behind the scenes of that and also kind of log my progress and it'll be fun for me to look back on and be like, hey, I did that. Um, so I'm going to be showing m mostly that project and whatever else I do during my day and I'll explain the project in more detail. But today I am at the archives at the office working in-house and then tomorrow I'm going to work from home and I think I'll vlog a little bit of me working from home tomorrow too because part of what I'm doing involves me being at the archives. I need to physically, you know, deal with things. Um, and then the other part is a lot of like spreadsheet and import and computer work that I can do at home. And my car needs to get worked on tomorrow. I had this huge crack in my windshield. Like it is literally longer than a foot. I don't know how I got it. I have theories of how I got it, but I cannot confirm <laughs> where the crack came from. And I need to get my windshield not even repaired. I need to get it replaced because if your crack is like larger than six inches, you need to get a new windshield. So that's going to be a whole ordeal tomorrow. I also need to get an oil change tomorrow. My car is just like it needs to go in to the shop for many different things. So I'll vlog from home tomorrow, but today we're at the archives. Hello, welcome. So I am in our reference library right now. There's our office, there's the vault, the stacks where like the archival materials are. And this is our research library, reference library. If anybody wants to come in to do research, which we are closed to outside researchers at the moment because of COVID, they would come in here and sit here. And we also have just our circulating, it's not even circulating, our <laughs> library books, which are published works, archival works, our primary source, unique material that does not you know, go in a library, it needs to be in closed stacks. Just a little archives 101 for you folks. But to explain the big project, where do I go? So this entire, our library collection has not been properly organized. There's been a lot of issues where I work and I won't, you'll hear me talk about our predecessors just not doing a good job. They were doing the best they could do at the time, but now that there's professionals here, i.e. me, we're trying to get things cleaned up. So none of the books in here were ever assigned proper call numbers, like Library of Congress call numbers. And for anyone that doesn't know what a call number is, it's when you go into a library and they have like the labels on it with, you know, the numbers. And there's different kinds of systems. You might be familiar with Dewey Decimal System, which is what I had in like school. And then Library of Congress is more popular and what you'll see in like um, public libraries, academic libraries, and, you know, 
historical libraries like us. So part one of the project has been done by one of our assistants where she cataloged everything, meaning looked up the call numbers for each of the books, assigned the labels, and the second part of that involved reshelving everything. So the way the books were in here were shelved kind of by topic by our predecessors and not by call number because they didn't have any call numbers. So we had to reshelve everything, which took up a lot of time and that's done. So now part three is getting all of the books into our database, AKA getting it into the computer so we can get it online and people can actually research them. And that's kind of what I am dealing with. This is a big project that I don't know how long it's gonna take me. And there's no like deadline. I'd like to get it done by the end of the year. And it is September 7th, so pray for me. But this is the beginning. This is where call number A starts. And we are a religious archive, so a lot of materials we have involve biblical or um, theology and also a lot of church history. I would say we're more of a church history archives than theology or biblical texts. So the bulk of our materials are going to be in the B's, which is where like Bible theology and church organizations that we fall under. So like the B's start here and go all the way, <laughs> all the way over like, I think here is where it actually starts to go into like the C's and D's. And then this is all like C through Z. So you can see it's a big bulk a bee. So I'm going to be in the bees for a very long time. So what I am doing is just going shelf by shelf and we have this whole spreadsheet where our assistant put all the books in there, all the call numbers, and I need to import it into Pass Perfect, which is the catalog database system that we're using. And that's what I'm going to be, that's what I do at home. So I need to be here to physically check if the books are on the shelves. That's the, one of the things that I'm doing today. And for this project and then going into the spreadsheet and filling in the proper fields that we need the information that we need that to import into past perfect so it would be like the condition of the book the if it's here <laughs> like if it's missing if it's not on the shelf we need to mark it as missing and all of those things so that's what i'm doing right now i'm just going through pulling books off the shelf onto my cart and then kind of just post it up here and this is the spreadsheet that I am using and I've put, I've tried to put the call it in order by call number and it, sometimes it doesn't actually go in the right order, but it's good enough for me. And I'm just going literally through the call number alphabet, pulling my books, finding the relevant information, entering the information in the spreadsheet. And then tomorrow I can take this information, put it into a different spreadsheet, which is our import template spreadsheet and then upload it into past perfect and i'll talk about that more tomorrow but that's what i'm doing right now and this is just i think i'm going to focus on this today so the plan is that i'm just going to focus on when i'm at the archives just getting all the information i need from the physical books and doing minimal work as possible and any computer work i'm going to do from home i'm trying to work from home at least one day a week to get a lot of this done and that's the update. So it is currently 11.55. I usually take my break, my lunch around 12.30 or one, sometimes even two if I'm like really focused on something. I did come into work earlier today, so I'm probably gonna eat probably at 12.30 or one o'clock. I'm like not even finished with my coffee yet. I'm gonna get back to work because at this point I'm just procrastinating um, because this work is so repetitive that it gets really boring and I have to like change things up or I get so just, I like start zoning out. And that's one of the things I really enjoy about my career, my work as an archivist is that there's just so many different things that need to be done that I can kind of work on one project, switch over and do something else, switch and do something else, go back to what I was working on. And everything's kind of like just, you know, not super urgent. And obviously the things that are urgent, like emails or phone calls or appointments, you know, I take care of. So if anybody wants to see a video on how I like manage like do project management or like how I like just manage all the things I do as an archivist, maybe you're in the same boat in your field and you need help managing multiple projects and, and time management and stuff like that. Let me know, I'd be happy to share.
things if people want to hear about it. But yeah, gonna go back to my spreadsheet. I've been watching YouTubers just YouTube this morning and then I right now I'm listening to music. I think I'm gonna stick to listening to some like focus music on Spotify. But that is the update. Thank you again for being here and I will catch you later when I have more interesting things to say. I'm gonna go back to the same thing I was doing, trying to just get through a lot of the bookshelves over there so I can just focus on hammering things out at home. And yeah, so let's go over there. Okay, it is almost 4.30, I'm about to head out, but I wanted to pop in with progress updates. So, my goal was to get this whole shelf done today, and I did, yay. And then the past half hour, I just got this shelf done. So, next time I'm in, I have to start here, and then it's a, and then so forth. But, pretty pleased. I don't know how many looks that is, but I got pretty far. Honestly, I'm like sick of all of this checking, spreadsheet, data entry, blah, blah, blah. So I'm excited to do something different tomorrow. But yeah, I'm gonna head home and I will check in. See you tomorrow when we work from home. Happy Wednesday. Honestly, with Monday being a holiday and having the day off, my like week is totally a blur. Like, I don't know what day it is. <laughs> I'm out of routine. And it's actually 12.30 right now. And I am not just starting work. I had an early morning taking George to work and then I had to get my car uh, worked on, which I think I mentioned yesterday and got back here around 11 15 so i was at so i actually started my day working at starbucks and i got some emails done for like a 30 minute block there and then i worked for like an hour at the car place so i've worked pretty much only an hour and a half today and it's 12 30 and this afternoon um safe flight is coming to fix or work or assess my car windshield which I need to show I need to show you guys what it looks like just so I can document this and 
at all. Uh, yeah, it's it's insane, the crack. Um, so hopefully that gets fixed. Gonna have to get a new windshield. And then I'm gonna have to go pick, pick George up when he gets off work. So realistically, I don't think I'm gonna get a full day's work in today, which I'm not mad about because I am struggling right now. When I got home, I just needed to lay in bed for like an hour because my... I don't know, I'm just like so tired. I think it's because I've had to wake up at 6.30 the past today and yesterday to um, help jo George get to work and, and then go to work. And my, I guess my sleeping schedule is a lot earlier than it normally is, which is great. I love waking up early and then getting off early and you know, just having that routine. But my body's just not used to it because I've been so in sync with like waking up at like 7, 7.30 and waking up a whole hour before that is just like a shock to my system so i'm adjusting and honestly i hate working from home unpopular unpopular opinion um at least for the work i do like obviously archival work you need to be in the archives to get stuff done so i'm glad i picked this career path just for that fact but for the computer work and, and emails and stuff that requires not being at the at the archives i enjoy the perks of working from home meaning i can sleep in i don't have to drive to work i can you know snack on whatever i want i can go lay down if i don't feel well but it's like a i feel like i have some strict boundaries between work and non-work that being at home i just feel like i'm invading that boundary of rest and 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 not associating home with work so it is very hard to focus some days and especially when i'm not feeling physically myself or at least not 100 percent myself it's super hard to focus so i'm I don't know. This afternoon is going to be a struggle to get through. If you work from home, let me know if you like working from home or if you have any tips for focusing when you just don't feel like physically, like you're just not motivated or inspired to work, I guess, from home. If I was at the office, like I'm in it, I'm in the environment, I have no choice but to work. There's a higher level of accountability, especially when you're in a career or a field where you just manage a lot of different projects that aren't really urgent. There's not a lot of things that need your like attention right at that moment. It's just a lot of project and time management, which can be really hard when you're not, you know, focused and in the zone, which is how I feel right now working at home. But I am going to try and just persevere. I have my setup going. Definitely need a dual monitor for today because we're going to be doing some mass data importing, <laughs> which is super exciting. Um, and I'll show you that. The safe light person is supposed to come between 1.30 and 5.30, which is like an insane window of time. Basically, I'm just going to be waiting all afternoon to see when they come. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to go pick George up if the car person comes later and he might just need to take public transport home. We'll see. Everything's kind of in the air. I feel like I can't like have a concrete plan for things this week, but that's the mood. I'm going to try and work for at least, I'm going to try like my, my stretch goals an hour and then I'll take a lunch at 1.30, but I don't know if I'll make it <laughs> for an hour. So I'm going to try one o'clock, just work for a 30 minute um, sprint see if I can get one of my templates ready to go and then come back from lunch and then kind of push through and go from there. So hello, this is me working from home doing some archival data entry computer work. I don't even know what you call it at this point and kind of struggling. So let's go. <laughs>
30, 40 ish minutes. It's 1.09 right now, and I am doing better than I anticipated, <laughs> um, and also feeling a little bit better now that I'm kind of getting into the groove. But I'm just hungry, um, even though I like had a snack like two hours ago. So I'm gonna go eat lunch, and then hopefully I'll feel better once I eat, and then I can get into a groove, and then get my car fixed. So I will touch base and also show you the spreadsheet situation and what's going on work-wise after eating. work went on a nice little walk in the backyard and I feel like I got bit by a million mosquitoes because that is our yard but I, one thing I just did was lit a candle and I like normally don't reserve candles for I try to keep my candles for like my evening you know because it's like one of the things that helps me feel like cozy and to unwind but there are just some days when you're at home and you just need to like make your environment a little bit better and apparently I need to relieve my stress which honestly I feel like I do but anyway I'm back and I thought I would show you there it goes my what I'm working on <laughs> which is super fun okay so I think I mentioned yesterday uh, kind of the background and we want to import all of our library catalog information into our database which we use past perfect which i will pull up if you don't know what past perfect is it's a software for it's made for museums like main it that's the intention and we're not a museum we're a legit archives but it's affordable option for small archives with a low budget and that's what we're working with. I have experience working in Past Perfect from my previous job, so I know pretty much how to use it, and I've been teaching myself new things along the way. So really, we want to get things in our library module or catalog so people can access it. We plan to go online with our database at the end of the year, early next year so people can actually research things for now everything's just being added because this is all new this is all new since i started and this is one of our large goals that we're trying to work towards so that's where they're going to end up but the problem is they've been living in a spreadsheet and prior to this they've been living on card catalogs like that's how just <laughs> old and in the past our institution has been so last year uh two assistants before i started working here took all of those card catalogs and put them in this spreadsheet which has been amazing since i started working but now we're ready to upgrade and turn all of the information in this spreadsheet into past perfect and there's a way to do that like in bulk which is what i am currently in the middle of at the moment and that's where this template comes into play now this template we made from not well kind of from scratch um we have an, a, a another local historical society that i actually do some side contract work for that they shared their template with us that they've been using for the same mass import which has been super helpful and then I kind of been fine tuning it as i've been going through this and this is kind of like what's working for me right now so what i have been doing this morning is transferring all of the data from the inventory list essentially into the mass data import spreadsheet and then once I get everything in here the way I want it it'll go into past perfect and I'll show that in a second but right now before lunch I got all of the data transferred over I'm not trying to do one large bulk I'm trying to stay within like 10 to 20 just because once I get them upload it in into past perfect i have to go through past perfect and like spell check and add extra fields because what i learned the first time around is that some things like the isbn number or notes or additions not every record has all the information and when you're importing data like every single field needs to have information and the first few times i went through i for things that didn't have like an isbn or other information i just put na and then I 
found that that was so time consuming because then I had to go into Past Perfect after it got imported and delete all of that. So it's, I've figured just stick to my core fields, which are like the call number, the title, you know, things that all the records are definitely going to have. And then once I get them into Past Perfect, I'll clean and add any information like the ISBN from looking in the spreadsheet. So it's really a, it's a quick process because you're able to import a lot of records at once, but it's not just one and done. I still have to go back and like fix things, add things, and make sure everything looks good. So that's kind of the <laughs> data import process and I'm going to, I need to kind of fix the physical description section by writing out like pages so it all looks nice. Um, and clean and spell check and then get this baby imported. So I'm gonna do that now. Everything got imported in all right at the beginning of this like before like trying to figure out importing like we hit so many roadblocks and had to like troubleshoot so it's like great to just make it so it's like so easy now that we've made it through the hard parts um, so these are all the ones from like 171 right here down to here are the ones that I imported so now I need to go through each individual one and add any information from this spreadsheet that I did not import, such as ISBN numbers, series names, additions, if there's any inscriptions, notes, etc., etc. And then I can call those done. And then just for a way for me to keep track of what's going in so I don't like double import or something, I'm just, I have a call and I'm over here called past perfect question mark. And if it's imported, I put yes. And then that helps me keep track of everything that I've been importing. Pretty simple. actually almost seven o'clock. I am just about to wrap up and clock out and call it a day. This has not been a very typical work from home day. I usually stop working around five, but since I've been out and about today with doing errands, car things, car is fixed now. I have a new windshield. Yay. Yeah, just because of all the things that have been happening and needing to drive places, I had to work a little bit extra. And now I'm going to go focus on making dinner and relaxing and then go into work tomorrow. I'm very excited to go into work because I just hate working from home. <laughs> Conversation for another day. But I got pretty far today. I don't know how many records I imported I want to say like a hundred just based on I know I did like four or five like mass imports and those average around like 15 to 20 per import so we're getting there we're making progress yeah I hope this has been interesting to see 
behind the scenes of a very specific project. Things are always changing in the archives. There's always something new, which is always fun. Um, and I guess the more typical days, I just don't think about filming. So let me know if you want to see more work days in my life as an archivist, anything specific you would like to see behind the scenes as an archivist. I know the things in this video was more library focused and not specifically archival because there is a big difference between libraries and archives for sure. Yeah, a lot of the other things that I do at work involve like genealogical research and just like archival processing and collections management and things like that. So maybe I'll try and do more specific work vlogs like on genealogical researching and processing or I don't know. Let me know what y'all want to see as I try to do more of these work vlogs. It's been fun. So make sure to give this video, give this video a big like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed for more work vlogs reading vlogs and planning videos, and I will see you in the next video.